Now, the death of a child is something one never fully recovers from. And although infant mortality is at an all-time low in South Africa and has fallen by 32%, according to an IRR report, so these figures are still really high when you compare them to other developing countries. So today we are chatting to Dr. Tandy Vessels to find out about the main contributing factor uh, and factors of infant mortality. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you, Julie. To start the conversation, what is infant mortality exactly? So infant mortality, when we refer to infant mortality, we actually refer to the deaths of babies less than one year of age. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, and just from any, for any reason? Yes. So, the, yes. so um, there are many things that contribute to infant mortality in South Africa. Okay. Um, unfortunately, there are lots and lots of um, preventable um, illnesses that still cause um, deaths in yeah. young children and young babies. Yeah, because our, our, I mean, I think our medical facilities are quite advanced and technology, I mean, has come a long way. Why is the rate in South Africa still so alarmingly high? There are a whole host of reasons, Jeannie. Um, I think if you look at health and wellness, by the time you get to the hospital, that's almost the end of the road. Yeah. So things begin at home. So we really have to look at prevention. Yeah. And um, in pregnancy, for example, we need early booking. Um, we need uh, um, planned pregnancies, um, regular clinic visits, a healthy diet. During pregnancy. During pregnancy. Okay. And after birth, um, things like uh, breastfeeding. Mm. Um, important practices like hand washing yeah. um, are very important. So really, I think, um, I'm not sure if uh, you or our viewers have heard of the first thousand days. No. So um, the first thousand days is essentially from the time of conception until the second year of life or the mm. second birthday. If you add up the nine months and the two years, you get to roughly um, 1,000 days. And during that time, um, that's really the time when we can really influence a child's life. Um, yeah. And we're talking about the mortality and morbidity, which refers to illness. I mean, I suppose it's so important what happens when you've got this little baby and you've got to keep it alive. I mean, how big is antenatal care? Because when I looked at the report, it seemed a lot more people started going back to the hospital for mm. antenatal care. But, like, the, the, the results were alarming. It's as if so many people weren't going back for checkups with their yes. newborn babies before. Yes. So, yes, we are seeing many more people attending antenatal care. Yeah. Um, but we're not seeing them attend early enough. Okay. So we really want people to go and visit before they reach 20 weeks gestation, which is roughly around five months yeah. um, of pregnancy, um, so that they can detect, we can detect things early on and we can test for certain infections, yeah. receive treatment. Um, you know that we have ARVs available to everybody now, so if you test yeah. positive, you can get treated. Yeah. Um, and then also everybody gets a scan if they book early. Um, and yeah, it's important to also pick up if there are any abnormalities of on course. the ultrasound. Yeah. Now, obviously, there's so many things that can contribute to infant mortality. But what is the high, what is your, your most common that you've seen? What is the number one thing killing these babies? So if we look, so it depends. So if we're looking at babies that are less than one month old, um, there are different causes to those that are from one month to one year. Yeah. So less than a month, we still see things that are related to um, hypoxia, which is lack, lack of oxygen to the baby's brain. Wow. Okay, and this can happen... Is that like SIDS, like sudden infant cot death? Or? Not quite. Um, it's actually something that's completely different, but we can talk about SIDS as well. Um, and we see infections, once again, are very high, and problems that, that are related to maternal pregnancy. In the babies that are also older than one month, we see things like pneumonia, diarrhea. Um, SIDS features, it's not one of our top causes, mm. um, but we see too many cases, yeah. I, I think. 
Yeah. I mean, it's just so sad when you look at those results and you and you and you read up about infant mortality. It's mm. just it's devastating, and I think it's really important for mothers and future mothers to know that a lot of these things can be avoided if you, as a mother, are looking after yourself, and if you, as a mother, are being healthy and taking care of yourself, getting all the nutrition that you need so that you can bring a beautiful, healthy baby in this world and then keep the baby healthy. Thank mm. you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. All Thank this you, information Gina. with us. Thanks.